Dillon District 4 is located along the I-95 corridor. This was once a thriving agricultural region. But as farming became mechanized and moved overseas, the district was left with an unskilled workforce, high poverty levels, and underperforming schools. Here at Dillon Mills School, we have approximately 93.7% free and reduced lunch. If you look at a single family here in this community, they're making less than $12,000 a year. When you think about children who are living in poverty, a lot of their um, daily life is all about how, how I get through that individual day. Pick your partner. I want you to flip through because page 10 starts on chapter 3. We try to understand what their circumstances are and try to talk with them and help them understand that there is another life out there for them. You're going to look at the pictures and then you're going to think about it, tell your partner what you think this chapter may be about. Administrators at Dillon Middle School hope to turn the tide for their students by building their reading and writing skills, creating a culture of high expectations, and fostering parental and community involvement. In 2009, they applied for a federal school improvement grant and were awarded $2.1 million. They've used the funds to implement an intensive reading program called Success for All. Success for All is a reading program that we are applying here at Dillon Middle School for the first 60 minutes of the instruction. But in terms of what it means to us at Dillon Middle School, it's much more than that. You can apply it to more than reading. It is an instructional system based on cooperative learning, uh, kids holding each other accountable. Mm, Skittles, okay. two from the group Skittles. Uh, what are the two things that we need to do to create a good song? Main idea, textual evidence in your own words. All right, good. Who's on the room? Everybody say, woo! Woo! Most of the time, kids that are in poverty, they get most of their knowledge from either the streets, rap albums. They don't get most of their knowledge from books. Um, Success for All is really the only time where a lot of these kids can actually sit down and read a book with good instruction, uh, with teachers actually teaching them how to read. They were so afraid of the rain all the time. They didn't want it to rain. They didn't want to have anything to do with water because it had covered everything, flooded, right? Well, some of these kids, their parents are working three and four jobs. They never really get a chance to see them. They really don't even have time to read with their kids. So. Success for All is good for showing these kids that, hey, there are some adults that can actually you know, show you how to read, we're going to show you how to be interested in reading, and that way you, we can kind of give them more knowledge to put on top of the knowledge that they learn out in the world, because they need that knowledge as well. Okay? Take it away, folks. The students literally run the groups themselves. Each student in each group, they have their own job. Uh, and they lead that group into the discussion of the questions and the answers to the questions. Um, and it's really just a student-led program. Even every Sabbath, they must have... We have a lot of students that they kind of struggle with talking in front of their peers. Successful, you have to do that every day. So I think it really gives them good social skills as well. Something that will make my life different is when I get older and got to take care of myself. Something in my life when I get old, older is when I get go to college and get an education. Whenever they become uh, productive adults in the workplace, they need to know how to work together and collaborate. And they're, they're going to get a good basics for that here at Dillon Middle School in the Success for All program, it makes their academic future much easier. If you look closely, you will see that when you move... We're already seeing improvements in the high school students that have gone through this program and that are over there now. The principals and the teachers over there are seeing differences in how they're coming over. They're already coming over better prepared. They're, they're reading better, they're writing better, they're communicating their thoughts better. So I definitely think it's gonna make an impact. All right, group four, you've been chomping at the bits to tell us how brain, how your brain helps you to run. Go ahead. Most um, of the teachers that you ask will tell you that their success for all class is their best class of the day because the students are so engaged with each other um, and they have a goal. You know, it's, it's no longer a group of strangers sitting in the desk that don't know each other. 
you can see that our sixth grade students, when they entered school, their baseline scores were heavy in the first, second, third, fourth end of the spectrum. But our seventh grade students have, have now progressed over toward more the fifth, sixth area. And when you look at the eighth grade, we have very few students in the first, second, third, and even fourth reading level. Most any seventh grade student, they want to be reading on a seventh grade or higher reading level. So when you give them that information and they find out maybe they're not on a seventh grade reading level, that they're on a fifth grade reading level, it motivates them. Without reading and writing, you're not going to be able to do anything in society. Without the ability to read or write, you cannot even go to fill out an application for a job anywhere. For our students to have um, the best chances to become successful in life, they have got to have the ability to read and communicate with each other. We want them to be able to communicate and write so that they are ready to go out into the world and take over their future.